a the quadratic equation this one where c is a positive integer has no real roots no real roots that means b square minus 4ac is smaller than 0 okay find two possible value of c that is c and c1 and c2 okay 2x square minus 5x plus c is equal to 0. When they say that it has no real roots, that means b square minus 4ac is smaller than 0. So we must know what is our a, b, c to substitute. Okay, from this one, we know that a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. This one is general form. That means a is equal to 2. b is equal to, you see here, this one positive b is equal to negative 5. And C is equal to C. And this one is smaller than 0. Okay. So, B square minus 4AC. Okay. B square minus 4AC. Okay. B square minus 4AC is smaller than 0. Our B is negative 5 square minus 4. A is 2. C is C smaller than 0. Negative 5 square, you get 25. So this one is negative 4 times 2, we get negative 8. Negative 8 times C, we get negative 8C smaller than 0. So what we wanted to have here is C. So we must bring C to the other side. Okay, we must bring C to the other side. So you see here, this one is the area smaller than, when it enters this area, it enters area larger than 0. So we see here 8C, when enter this area, it is area larger, larger than, okay. And this one, 25, is still here. See here, 25 is still in the area smaller than, and 8C now enters area larger than, okay. So C is larger than 25 divided by 8, which is 25 divided by 8. You can you get three point three point three point one two five. So you see, okay. Any possible value of c that is c one and c two. So we know that c here any any value that is larger than three point one two five. Any two values you can give any two values larger than three point one two five. So c one can be four and c2 can be 5 or any numbers that is larger than 3.125 okay b based on the value of c1 and c2 in a does the equation have two real root explains so you see here you are going to use this value inside this equation so the smaller value the better but make sure it is still in the range okay we have 2x squared minus 5x plus half c1 plus c2 is equal to 0. So we wanted to make sure if it has two real root. So when we know two real root, that means our b squared minus 4ac must be larger than 0. Okay. This one, 2x squared minus 5x plus half c1 plus c2. This one we, have, we give 4 and 5 just now, right? 4 plus 5 is equal to 0. 2x squared minus 5x plus half 9 is equal to 0. So you can either remove the denominator by multiplying everything with 2 or you can just substitute a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 5 and c is equal to, so you see here c is the one without any, x is half times 9 is 9 over 2. So, to, to know if it has two real root, we have to check if b square minus 4ac is larger than 0. b square is 5, negative b is 5, minus 4, a is equal to 2, and then c is equal to 9 over 2. This one and this one can be cancelled out. Negative 5 square, you get 25. And here, negative 4 times 9, you get negative 36. 25 minus 36 is negative 11. So we know that to, for it to be a real root, b square minus 4ac is larger than 0. Since this one is negative 11, 
That means uh, this equation does not have two real roots. Or see here, this equation has no real roots. B square minus smaller than b square minus four ac smaller than zero. That means it has no real root. So this one is wrong. It doesn't have two real roots. If two real roots, this one is supposed to be larger than zero. So this one smaller than zero.